I'm AKA Bands, and this is Support This TV Sports. Do me a favor and hit that like button for me. Now, I appreciate all my supporters out there. Thank you. Bellator MMA and Bellator Kickboxing. Now, the thing that I like about the kickboxing versus the MMA is that the kickboxing don't have a bunch of old fighters um, taking over the main events, taking over all the big events over the younger fighters. You see Bellator actually in the MMA category, they put all they, 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 they resources to, towards older established fighters that ain't got much time left in their career instead of putting towards the younger talent. Now, that's what I like about the kickboxing. Kickboxing got much younger talent. What I don't like about what Bellator is doing with the kickboxing, they're making it second to MMA. Now, everybody know kickboxing in the United States is not as big as it should be. It should be much bigger than what it is, but it's not. And you could tell sometimes how Bellator promotes it, that they makes it second towards the MMA. And I don't think they should do that. But at the same time, I'm not a fight promoter, so... That is my opinion. But let's talk about Denise Kilhorts. Now, Denise Kilhorts, she, she grabbed my attention at one of the Dynamite, Bellator Dynamite um, events. I don't know if it was Dynamite 1 or Dynamite 2. But I seen her. I thought she was very beautiful. I felt like she was a great fighter. If you seen her in the streets, you wouldn't even think that she was a fighter. But once I went and dug and did deeper research on her, I realized there was a lot of websites, like the fight websites, that didn't have nothing on her. Sure, dog didn't even have nothing on her. And I'm not fighting Sure, dog for not having nothing on her because so many fighters. And it's, it's and Sure, dog got a great database of fighters. But I was shocked that she didn't have no information on her other than one loss. But I looked up her um, Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff, and I noticed that um, she's Dutch. You know, I didn't know that. But she's Dutch. She a kickboxing MMA fighter. So she does do MMA too. She been world champion five times. European champion one time. Um, infusion winner twice. Black belt judo. So um, she got an impressive uh, resume. But the, 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 the most beautiful thing about her resume is that she's 55 and 3. 55 and 3. That is great to be only 28 years old. And I looked up her age. I'm guessing it's right. 28 years old. Like I said, it wasn't a lot of information. I bought her online. I actually had to ask um, what was her fight record through one of her fans on the Instagram account. Because I couldn't find it. Bellator said it um, during the kickboxing show, but I didn't remember it. So a fan told me. But um, honestly, when I see her and I see her talent... I think if she keep winning, more importantly, if Bellator promote her right, she could be the next big thing in kickboxing, the next big thing in MMA on the on the on Bellator side. Cause like cause you everybody know UFC gonna promote their fighters. UFC gonna get their fighters out there. We're not talking about UFC, we're talking about Bellator. Bellator being it is owned by Viacom, being that Viacom owns Paramount and all that good stuff. I can see this lady being in movies, commercials, all kind of stuff. She got the face for it. Then she got the talent to stay on top for a while. See, what I hate is that I look up her her Instagram and she's not even verified. I look up her Twitter, she's not even verified. You know, she got less than 10,000 followers. But she's the um, Bellator lightweight champion. Bellator lightweight kickweight champion. Bellator featherweight kickboxing champion. And she's 55 and 3. They promoted her for the kickboxing show um, very well. Just like they promoted um, the MMA fighters for the MMA show that happened. Um, they did it in Italy, which is great. Italy love kickboxing. But I just feel like there's so much more Bellator could do for her career. You know, um, hopefully she'll hear this. Hopefully Scott Coker hear this. Hopefully somebody hear this. Hopefully some of the fans will hear this and they will agree with me and they can spread the word. Um, people need to know who your champions are. Everybody knows who UFC champions are, even if they don't watch it. Even if they only know a few of their champions, they know them. People don't really know who Bellator champions are. 
people don't even know who Bellator MMA champions are unless they watch it, unless they are fans of it. They can't be someone off in the distance and know who Bellator champions are. And it's even worse for the kickboxing guys. I watch Bellator kickboxing, but I can't sit right here and tell you no kickboxing champion name off, off the top of my head. Nobody but Denise, Denise Kilhorst. She's the only one. And I feel like it's something Bellator could do to fix that. Instead of spending all their money, all their energy on guys that's going to retire in the next year or two. But all this is just my opinion. Congratulations to Denise Kilhorst on her win today. Congratulations on her still being Bellator kickboxing champion. It's a great looking belt. I love how the belt looks. And um, let's wish her the best in the future. And let's hope somebody here does. They spend some spend more money towards promoting her. Spend more money towards promoting the rest of their fighters. And get them out there more. You know? That is my opinion. But i like to hear y'all comments on this. And we can debate it in the comment box below. But make sure you share, like, and subscribe. I'm AKA Bands. This is Support This TV Sports. And I'm out. Thank you.